welcome back. It's Mike at Monkey Wrench Engineering. Hope everyone's having a good day. This is going to be a very short tutorial. Uh, we're just going to do docking for dummies, do some of the very basic concepts just a rendezvous and a simple docking maneuver, um, doing it the easy way. I've had a couple of people that have requested a little more in-depth coverage of this, so this video. Um, we have two ships in orbit of Kerbin right now. Uh, docking 1 and Docking 2. They're not named very creatively. Uh, docking 2 is in about a 200 and a little change orbit. Docking 1 is just over 100 kilometers up. You will notice they are not in the same plane, which was intentional. I didn't launch them sloppily, but this simulates the normal situation with two ships. They're not in quite the same plane. So, in order to dock, the first thing we need to do is actually have a rendezvous. We're currently on Docking Craft 2, so we will target Docking Craft 1. And you'll see the AP and the PE of his orbit. And you'll see the ascending node and descending node where it intersects ours. So at either the ascending or descending node, since we're already past the ascending, we'll make a maneuver on the descending node around here. We are going to, oops, wrong way. We're going to go ahead and match planes with our target ship. You'll note as we're getting nearer and nearer to the planes, the, uh, see the ascending node and the descending node are now at right angles to where we're burning. We've moved it. As long as that is at right angles, which it is, that means that that burn will put us in the same plane as the target. Uh, and it's a tiny burn, it's four seconds. It's only a four second burn, so we'll time accelerate up until we're under a minute to the marker. There we go. We are on the dark side of the planet, so there's sadly not much to see. Uh, 25 seconds. We're going to actually barely use the engine on this, because we do want to be fairly precise. So we're going to start burning early, but at a reduced throttle rate. There we go. Good enough. We're now in the same plane as our target. So now we need to rendezvous. We have him targeted. That is obviously the first thing you need to do. We're going to be dropping into his orbit. So we'll uh, throw a node on just for starters and do some deceleration. We're getting indicators that our intersections are quite far apart right now. 300 kilometers plus. So let's move our node. Let's see if we can get those closer. Oh, they're much better. Right about there. Ooh. And our node disappeared. Thank you, squad. Please fix that. There we go. Uh, intersection of 12 kilometers, intersection of 22 kilometers. That's, that could be closer. Intersection 36, getting farther apart. Separation 2.6 kilometers and 7.9 kilometers. Okay, that gives us two good, two good shots. So we'll hit F5 and save in case we mess up. That's going to be a burn of 64 meters per second. Our ship, oh, we still have the boosters on from when I put these ships in orbit. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. These are a very basic ship. They're a Mark III capsule, docking port, RCS system. They have parachutes because I would like to get the crews back to the ground alive. But they'll definitely work for our demonstration. So we are going to want 
to orient to the maneuver we've just laid in for the rendezvous, which is 20 minutes away. We're going to go ahead and fast forward, accelerate time. Again, this is a precise burn, so we're not going to use full engine power. We are locked on the maneuver node. And we are burning. There we go. Now we can get rid of our maneuver node, and lo and behold, we have two encounters. One at 3.5 kilometers, one at 7.1 kilometers. So, at this first encounter, we're going to want to match velocities with the target. So let's get around nearer that first encounter. We are going to be on the dark side of the planet, which is a little unfortunate, but I do have lights on these ships. Uh, if you know you're going to be docking with a ship, it doesn't hurt to have a lighting system on it. It's actually very helpful. And you can see, as we're getting closer to our intersection, there is Craft 1, a little over 14 kilometers away. We're going to be approaching, our nearest approach is at 3.5 kilometers, so we are in target mode now, rather than orbit. If this remains in orbit mode, click it through surface to target. You want to be on target. Our next maneuver is going to be to break to a standstill relative to that ship. So we will turn our ship around into a retrograde position. And we're going to close to within about three kilometers of it, and then we're going to break. And it shows us as closing at an approach speed of 67 kilometers per second. Let's actually slow, or 67 meters per second, excuse me. Let's slow that down to about 10. Accelerate time, get as close as we can. And that's about as close as we're going to get. So we will now gently bring ourselves to zero meters per second relative speed. Okay. We're still 1.6 kilometers away, so we're going to turn our ship to face the target, which is the pink circle with the pink dot on your nav ball. When facing the target, we're going to apply a little bit of acceleration, not a whole ton. We are moving at about 13 meters per second. We can actually go a little faster. We're still fairly far away. We'll get up to 20 meters per second. Okay, now we're closing on the target again at 20 meters per second. We will flip to a retrograde position so we can break. We'll go ahead and time accelerate closer. I think I just overshot. Eh, I did, but that's okay. And we will zero our relative velocities. Okay, relative velocity zeroed. We are now 400 meters apart. We're going to switch to the other ship briefly using the bracket, square bracket key. Uh, it, unfortunately, I just realized, still has its booster on as well. So we're going to turn that around and get rid of that. We don't really need the booster in the way while we're docking. Now, see, there's our other ship over there, so we're going to jettison the booster. Yeah, we can jettison it now. This is a good spot. There we go. So, on board this ship, we're going to set our other ship as the target. We're going to orient ourselves to face that target. We'll hop back to our first ship. We'll again orient ourselves to face the target. 
which we are drifting towards at about 0.8 meters per second, although not right dead at it. We'll accelerate a bit. Not too much. Closing at 5 meters per second. We'll accelerate in because who likes to wait? Okay, we're under 100 meters. We will flip retrograde. Ooh, I'm getting way closer than I meant to. There we go. <laughs> now we're going away from it. I decided I didn't want to hit it. We'll flip back. We'll zero our velocity relative to it. Okay, velocity zeroed. So we are now close enough. We'll right click on our docking port and click control from here. We will oops. We will right click on the docking port on the target and click set as target. So now the docking ports are reading to each other as target. We will line up a tiny, tiny boost of power just because I'm being showy and using the main engines to close. You should probably do this on RCS. There we go. So we're stopped. We're 31 meters apart. We'll go ahead and flip around. See, these lights are very powerful. They light up that ship nicely. We'll line up on the docking port as best we are able. Right there. We'll turn our RCS system on. And I'm going to click the little blue docking mode over here. So now, uh, WASD shift control are allowing you to use your RCS exactly as you would <clears throat> on a Kerbal eva -ing. So we're hitting the shift key to give ourselves just a little bit of forward momentum. We're watching the nav ball to make sure that we are set as tightly as possible on that target docking port. Which we look like we're lined up pretty well. We'll go ahead and turn ourselves just for neatness sake so we're meeting in exactly the same profile. We're still pretty much right on the target. Our prograde vector does show we've got a little bit of lateral drift, so we will have to watch that, but we should be fine. So closing at 0.2 meters. 13 meters to go. We do appear to be lined up pretty well. Yep. As I said, shift was to give us a little bit of forward momentum. We're going to use control to slow. Although, to be honest, we could dock at 0.2 meters. But we're going to slow just a bit to 0.1. And you'll notice we're ever so slightly off, but just barely. Docking ports are magnetic. We should be okay, even as is. If not, that'll be fun. We'll get to do a little fiddling around. We're going to slow a little more and let the magnets do their job. We're going to translate right just a bit. Oh, and we're going to translate down. Coming in too high. There we go. Bingo. And that is docking. So the secrets to all of that, approach very slowly. Don't get in a hurry. 
Um, I find it most advantageous to use docking mode here. Um, staging mode is your default. Clicking the little blue circle with the three black dots in it takes you to docking mode. That allows you to use WASD shift control to run your RCS systems. Then if your ships are not pointed toward each other, make sure and flip to the other ship and point it to face you. If you are in a situation where the ship is not facing you and you cannot turn it, it's a station, say, and you've come in on the wrong port, uh, you will have to use your RCS to jockey around to the correct side, but then all the rules remain the same. You're going to target it, set its port as the target, set your port as control from here, line those up, and then slowly approach. Uh, hopefully that makes it a little easier. But in any case, try not to explode too much, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.